it was a reality check for me, knowing that you know I can't take things for granted. And uh, you know, Coach Shaw wanted me just to take a step back and uh, just uh, kind of overlook things and just uh, you know trying to get better. And I felt like you know it was it helped me out a lot, you know, knowing that you know I need to work that much harder. And uh, you know, just because we won tonight, you know, obviously it feels great, but. You know, we're going to enjoy this win tonight, but uh, come Monday, it's uh, San Diego State, and it's got, to, it's got to take a great week of preparation, and uh, we'll be ready. You came back and probably had your best effort of the season. Did you feel more comfortable on that? Uh, I feel like I, I felt good all season, but today, I mean, tonight, I felt like, yeah, I felt uh, really good, you know, knowing that the guys around me are making big time plays, you know, it helps my job a lot better. And also, like, uh, Quinn Pedroza, you know, having a big guy like that on offense, and, uh, you know, our offensive lineman did a great job this week of just, uh, you know, uh, preparing. And also tonight, it was just giving me time to deliver the ball. And that's what happened tonight. Guys, talk about that play right at the end of the third quarter. You get popped right when you unleash it. A little bit about how I would hope it um, right, right when you let it go. I mean, that thing is floating right when you hit it. Oh, you know, uh, they, they, they brought a pressure. You know, it was, it was third down. I think it was third down, I believe. And, uh, you know, I knew it was going to get hit. And I, and I told myself, you know, just stay in there and uh, take that hit. You know, I'd rather take the hit and uh, make a big time play than trying to avoid it. You know, I knew it was going to hurt. You know, it's football, but, you know, you take hits. But, uh, you know, like I said, Quinn came up and I had a, a big time play and uh, it worked out. It all worked out well. Wait, did you think that thing had enough air under it that you could get to it? I mean, it was, it was a good ball. I mean, he got hit and it still made it to me. I adjusted a little bit and I just made the play on the ball and I just made a play. When you look at this team, I mean, uh, when did, did you guys had a big offensive explosion. Are you looking at this like, this is what this team is, you know, this is what we've always thought we could do all year long, this offense could do, you know, just we can score touchdowns. Well, yeah, I'm just looking at it like all of our hard work is paying off since camp. I've been telling these boys uh, we have a very explosive offense when we just stay poised and we just get things done like the way they're supposed to do. Like our coaches always say, just do your 111th. And, and I think tonight, for the majority, we did our 111th. I mean, it's 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 slightly a relief because, like like I said, countless time into this game, and we just finally get what we deserve and what we've always been working for, and it's just the start. Uh, one and zero Mountain West, and we're gonna just keep it rolling. Was this one of the first instances in the second half where you felt the offense was finally in a rhythm this season? Uh, yeah, I, I definitely agree with you on that. That you know, just coming off. Off the, off the first half, you know, I felt like we played well, but also, you know, coming in the second half, we were just kind of uh, guns blazing, you know, just uh, everyone was firing and everyone was just doing the job. Like, you know, Quentin says, you know, uh, Coach Demo and our special team mean, uh, means every morning, you know, he preaches just do your 111, do your job and trust the guy next to you that he'll do the same. And that's what happens tonight, you know. It, it kind of shows everyone that when we're all, when, every, when the whole team plays as a, as a unit, you know, we can be a, a team to be reckoned with, you know, and the defense has been playing lights out for the past, you know, four or five weeks. And uh, we know that this game, it was our turn, the offense that have their back. And that's something that we can build on and that we'll, we'll continue to do throughout the season. Did you notice a different O-line this time around? Oh, no, I felt like we've had a great O-line all, all season. You know, those, those guys up front, you know, they, uh, they'll, they'll break their backs for us. You know, they'll do anything for us. And, I, and I, I'm just uh, humbled to have those guys up there doing that. You know, they never complain. They work hard. And I'm, I'm proud to call them my O-line. And they'll continue to do that, their, uh, their job all, all, all season. Draymond, what are the coaches telling you going into the uh, second half? I mean, limiting them to seven, three and outs. I mean, it didn't even seem that they were able to move the ball. But what was the speech like? Uh, well, we, Coach, Coach uh, Kloon always preaches, you know, just do you want to left, like uh, Kaika said. But um, before the game, uh, the day before the game, Coach Kloon had, you know, uh, presented a presentation for us. And he just went through each game saying, you know, we have to learn from this, learn from that. And the one thing we, we learned from last game was, you know, watching Rice defense, they just kept fighting, kept fighting, kept giving their offense opportunities, you know, to capitalize. And that's what I was saying on the field. Every time, you know, there was a, a sudden change, I ran onto the field and told our offense, you know, just keep your heads up. We're going we're gonna to pull through for y'all. We're going to keep giving you opportunities. You know, that's what they did to capitalize. Dre made some big plays. The turnovers really turned this thing around. So. This, this is what this team needed to do. You know, we got to come up with a play to set this offense up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, back to our, you know, doing our 111 on those two interceptions, I, I, I did that, but I don't really take too much credit for it because, you know, our O-line, I'm not our O-line, our, our defensive line, our linebackers got pressure on the quarterback. And in the first one, he just threw the ball out. So you know, I did my job and they did theirs and you know, came out with a good outcome. Uh, 
I know you guys take pride, you don't like to give up points, so what do you guys think it matters a lot, a lot of points if you take a lot of pride in them and you can't give up more yeah, points? Yeah, that's one of our goals each and every week. Uh, you know, our maximum points we can give up is 21, and that's what we did tonight, you know. And, you know, there was a uh, – their defense actually scored, but we try not to let that affect us. Okay, go. Um, Coach Chow's personal life I mean, this past week, did it feel extra special to win tonight for him? Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, Coach Chow's going through a lot right now. You know, a lot of people get caught up in, uh, you know, playing football. And uh, this is just a game. You know, a lot of people have to deal with uh, real-life situations, and that's what Coach Chow's dealing with. And uh, to be honest with you, I have utmost respect for Coach Chow, you know, knowing that, you know, his wife is in the hospital right now, but he's, he's over here with his second family. And, uh, you know, like I said, I just, I just you know, I'm, I'm grateful for a coach like that. And, uh, and, it, and it shows and proves to everyone, you know, no matter what they say, that he does care about us no matter what. And uh, we'll continue to fight for him. And this win was definitely for him, for him and also his family. And, you know, we'll, we'll definitely continue to pray for his wife and uh, just hope for, uh, you know, uh, that, that everything will be all right. The fact that you were up very accurate tonight in watching the first half, though, uh, yeah, it, it definitely helped me to know what their coverage is, you know, what they're running, and uh, what can I, what I, what I can <clears throat> expect on, uh, you know, like first downs or third downs and third and longs. You know, it definitely made me feel comfortable when I walked in there because I knew what was going on. And you know, Taylor and uh, Jeremy, they, they do a great job of just uh, helping me out, you know, supporting me and letting me know what kind of defense we're running and what what to expect. And obviously, you guys always are. Even if you're told you're not starting, you're you're ready to go right away. Oh, absolutely. You know, just because, you know, I wasn't starting tonight, you know, uh, Coach Chow to always tell me just to be ready because, you know, it just it, it takes one play for me to go in there. You know, just because I'm not starting doesn't mean that I, you know, I don't prepare because, you know, a lot of guys, you know, just because, you, uh, you know, you're the second guy, you got to prepare like you're the starter because, you know, you're just one play away from going in. And that's what that was my mindset this week of, uh, you know, just working hard and, uh, you know, work, battling with the twos. And, uh, and just I'm just happy with the way, the way things turned out tonight. Were you not at all when you were first told that you weren't going to start? Did you have to pick yourself up that you could teammate well, yeah, honestly, you know, anytime someone says that, you know, you're not going to be playing or you're not going to be starting and stuff, you know, it's, it's, it's a little disappointment. But at the same time, you know, uh, I, I, Coach Child, you know, he's smart and Jordan, they know what they're doing and they feel that was the best for the team. And if they feel that's best for the team, then then I'm all for it. You know, I'm not I'm not an eye guy, you know, I'm a, I'm a team guy. And uh, if, if that's what's going to be successful, then that it was. But, uh, you know, I just had to come in on, on Wednesday and just work and uh, just battle through it. Given how the first five weeks of the season played out, you guys – Oh, absolutely. There's, uh, you know, we don't ever, you know, come into a game thing that we're not good enough. You know, we have confidence that we can get it done. You know, obviously we struggled the past couple of years, but, you know, what what helped us in those past couple of years is that we learn. You know, we learn what, what we need to do better at. And uh, tonight was just a, a showing of what we can do. And uh, and I promise you that we'll continue to play that way. Next man, that was the cliche. It barely works most of the time, but today it worked across the board for everybody. You guys really brought the game. Is that a physical thing for a preparation, or is that more of a mental thing to come off Um, I think it's more of a, a mental thing. You know, a lot of people say, you know, the next man up is, you know, it is kind of a cliche. But I feel like, you know, you just always have to be ready no matter what. You know, at any time, you know, something can something can call, uh, go wrong, and you know, your name's gonna get called. So I just got to perform well, and I felt like, you know, we did a great job of doing that tonight. And uh, you know, I'm just proud of the way you guys uh, fought. Okay, last question. There's a point at the end of the third quarter where. Um, well, going to the third quarter, man, we just know that that our um, that the game was on our backs, and you know our offense scores, so the, the game was real tight, and we just had to you know play play the way we were supposed to play.